Recording in. So I realized that I forgot to hit record this whole time. So that's fun. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's. Yep. We did a lot in it. I apologize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over what we did. The first thing we did was we took burnt sienna and we created more like blobs of trees, impressions of trees behind all of this, as well as here. I added some ridges here. And then with that burnt sienna, I started um, defining where my mountains were. So I stopped looking at my reference and I really focused on trying to figure out where it made sense within my painting, right? So, and then each side of a mountain is going to have a high spot where the sun is hitting it. And then a low spot on the other side where the sun is, where the mountain is blocking the sun and casting a shadow. So that's what I did up here. And then I mixed together um, a burnt sienna with an ultramarine blue and a little bit of black to create like a really, really, really dark brown, almost black. And I added in with like more of a flat brush, I added in a very dry brush technique where I just carved out a lot of various um, hard edges. See how these are all like very hard edges and then went over one last time and like really defined the trees. And that's it, that's all we did for this part, but it just took a long time. So take your time with it. Now that I have my foreground totally finished, I'm really happy with my foreground, it looks great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going in with that dark brown that we created, which was a combination of the burnt sienna with the ultramarine blue and some black. And I'm going to really define with like a dry brush technique where my darkest shadows brush, a smaller brush. And I'm gonna go in and I'm really just going to define, adding a lot of texture here with a dry brush technique of where my darkest shadows are going to be. So some of it is just a wash, whereas other ones are more of a dry brush, brush technique. So I'm, com I'm combining the like more of a wash technique where my, um, where my brush and my color is wet and it's adding like a light version of that color. So I'm combining that with um, some hard edges. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, right now I'm really concentrating on just creating a wash, a very, very light wash with that color to start creating some like texture throughout. <coughs> it's going to be really dark back here. It's going to be really dark back here. And then with that dark color, I'm also creating like these like lines that are helping me define where the shadow, like where, um, what direction the slope is going in. That's what I meant to say, yeah. So what, so see how with these hints of lines now I can, 
kind of gauge that like this the curvature of the slope with some just fast impressions of lines. Are you enjoying just watching Mark too? Okay, cool. You're making me feel like Bob Ross. <laughs> I think so. If I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken, like he didn't make any money off of his show. I think he just don donated it all to charity. Bob Ross, Bob Ross, I think he just did it for fun and donated all the proceeds to charity. I believe it. Um, my best friends had a Bob Ross date night where they got like wigs and then just did with wine and then just followed along a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> like kind of like taking up his mantle. Oh, okay. Owen Wilson? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh huh. I know that feeling. And I'm kind of like going in and like adding very messy texture, which will help it give the um, illusion, if you will, of like rocks and like uneven terrain. I'm even going in super light and like starting to break up some of these like hard, large white areas, but like with hints if of like more, if with like more hints of color.
And then so this is like a really dark area because this is like like almost a valley. At this point, I'm like not really even intentionally kind of going into my painting. I'm kind of just allowing it to intuitively happen. And I'm using a lot of like, see how I'm using my brush, not with the tip, but like as the whole flat edge of that area to really create some of these interesting shapes. And the more layers I add with my dry brush technique, the more texture it adds and the more kind of raw it starts looking. I need, I need to step away from this, otherwise I'm just adding lines for the sake of just because I'm having fun. Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh. 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 
something is not enough. I love annotations. So I love like old and add hierarchies, like especially books. If I get a book, I find a book, and it's a lot of people that starts back and it's writing all in it. I'm buying that book. I'm buying that book. There's a character that book is the book. Yes, you have it. Um, you know, maybe take a picture and email. I'll take please. a picture and email. Yeah, because I'm like, ooh, I actually forgot that bike. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll take an image. Um. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add hints of birds. So the smallest brush that I have. I'm jealous of your brush, Marilyn. <laughs> I'm jealous of your brush. The smallest brush I have. I'm gonna take it very, 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 very dark. Very, very, very dark. Like my brush is fully saturated with this color. The tip is anyways. And then um, it's not wet. So there's no like pooling of water. It's just a dry brush. So I have a lot of control here. And I'm just going to add in like a... Oh, that's say that same like black color. Yeah, yeah. Just the same black color. And then I'm just going to kind of create... Um, Ah. hints of birds this one just looks like it's part of the mountain but that's okay because so how i'm doing this and i'll zoom in super 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 close so how i'm doing this is i'm creating a little bit of a v and then i'm just adding in like a little bit of a body underneath that v does that make sense And like the V is going to be like less pronounced in some areas and like sometimes it'll go down because like depending on how the wings are captured, you know? I want one here. <laughs> all right that's it that's all i'm gonna add just five small ones that 
that's it. I'm I'm I don't want to touch this anymore. I'm lying. I'm adding one more. I just want this to be this one side to be darker. Okay, now I'm done. If otherwise I'd just continue playing with it and I would never stop. I'm happy with it. This was a tough thing to do. Yeah, how did you guys get up with this? This was a hard thing to do for sure. This was like, yeah, much more advanced than we could do. I mentioned the last one. Yes. These are darker. So what you can create is you can create a beach spray. So you can add paint and gray wash over some of the shadow areas. So to create a beach spray, I would go darker color. Um, add a little bit of like wash around the edges here, and then right here to the line. Yes. Okay. We all have off days now. But if you enjoyed this class like 80% of the time, I would say stick with it. Because this is a hard painting. This is not the appropriate painting to judge your love of this craft or not. This is hard. I'm pushing you guys. Probably a little too hard right now. Honestly, if I were to do this again, I think I would change it, uh, choose a slightly easier subject. To what? If I were to do this, like, two class. Trees themselves are not easy. They're so tough. It's the trees that I just have a thing. I need this thing. Yeah, the trees. There you go. Um, I would probably do more, like, I'd probably do more of, like, a field. With like maybe a hint to the house in it or something like that. Always have to be safe. I know. I'm just saying that. But make sure you're not outlining. Oh, no, but I also want. So adding that color was fine. That's absolutely fine. But now what you can do is hold all the colors. Yeah. 
What I want to do. The lady's your cake. and that I. So, if you yes, my boss has working with wet brushes, wet paint are so tough because, like, there's no like, like, it's either all of them, right? With wet paint, what I would suggest is I think there's other like therapy, just an empty palette, put some of the spray, and then just like pouring them in there. And then I put them in, let them dry, and then you always wear these. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Like yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. That's very tough to yeah. 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 But that's a great idea. Like I'll empty it to let it dry. That yeah. doesn't matter either. Well, that's a that's a uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah, um, the session in May, I just got this. So the next session is watercolor all levels starts May 15th and July 10th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. again. Okay, can I ask a question? Yes, I'm thinking about paper. Gold press, hot press. Which works better? I've never worked hot press. Never. I've never hot worked hot press. I've always put work cold press. What's the difference? Uh, one's made with hot water. So I think from my very, very limited knowledge, hot press is very smooth. Like no pressure. Okay. No problems. No. It's so much more expensive. Yes, I saw that. And I was thinking, what is, what is the difference? Yeah, so what do you use? Why well, would use hot press if I were using like more of a, a different technique. If I were going in, like there's this technique you could do with a palette knife where you add on your paint, your paint, and then using the palette knife, you actually take off paint uh, to like create texture. Um, that's what I would use hot press for. Um, I- Is it for oil paint? No, no, it's for water paint. Water paint. Water paint. I have no idea. Like, like I said, my knowledge of hot press versus cold press is severely limited. Like, basically, I can tell you is one smooth one hot. That's it. Would you smooth your button when you want to do a thing like that? Yeah. That doesn't hold the paint. That doesn't get absorbed. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I know what you're talking about too. But like this. Yeah. So would you use the, the cold press for that? Because you don't really want texture. Yeah. Possibly. Where are the materials? Usually there's a material. Does it not? So then it has to be something like 
Yeah. This, I believe, too, it looks like this is like might be done with um, watercolor inks, which are very heavily saturated. They're those bottles of like the colors, and it's very, very saturated. They're very bright. This looks like it was probably done with watercolor inks and not watercolor uh, inks themselves. Thank you. I love it. Very good. Now, I'll is my grandpa. I grew up. Uh, he introduced me to me, and then the baby part. It was uh, she um is she came from Yugoslavia to Canada right after World War Two. Escape the communists who took over um, Serbia, basically, and put all the German people into the German And she was a farmer, and her backyard was just like rows, had no grass. It was just rows of like vegetables yeah. and like plants everywhere. She had one corner that was just filled with baby bread, and I remember hiding in there a lot. So, yeah. No, I was born in Canada. My uh, my grandpa. So I'm seven. It's your old one. Uh, yes, and she's your old one. She was my great great. She was my uh, grandfather's mother. I think they come from somewhere. I don't know. There's not even someone's name. There isn't. We don't have to come from somewhere in Canada. Yeah, that's the rest of us are okay. somewhere somebody got that. We are 100% millennial settlers, but uh, yeah. the natives from uh, they also the natives of America were somewhere, and then they got not everybody, but some of yeah, the, the Bering. I think it was Iceland. Yeah, she can land or something. Yeah. From the Bering Strait. Yeah. No. So who's going to win the American election? Clear. Oh, uh, uh, no, I don't want to say who's going to win. I know. Clear. When you say, oh, God, I know which person you're thinking of. Oh, I think Clay. 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 When he looks in the office, he turned on the internet. <laughs> yeah, but he's having the buttons. Oh my god. Yeah, but it's but you destroys don't destroys the world. Exactly. But he's so world. But he's so mm -hmm. he has such a huge problem. Like oh my god, yeah. We were I was talking to someone. Don't you think of people? Oh, yes. oh yeah, and, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because people want to change anything and say you know what your finances. They want to know all they want to know. But why why have the problem? Why is it not even possible? Exactly. Well he's done a lot. Yeah. But he was nice. Okay. Yes, it's difficult for sure. Nice. I think this is a very strong first attempt at a map. Absolutely. I think this is a good first attempt. A hundred percent. Yes. I totally agree. This gives you a really strong foundation. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell that they're like this is high, this is low. Um, this is high, this is low kind of thing. I can I can see what's going on here. I really like this. I think this was very successful right here. I think your foreground is very nice. I love your sky. Yep. I think this is a very very strong um, first um, attempt. Yeah, that's the main thing. Second attempt, I would yeah. probably yeah. elevate this a little more and add more space in between here. If you wanted it to look exactly the same. Yes. But I love this, though. Oh, sure. I think this was very successful. Well done, Leah. Yeah, that's good. I want to take a picture of your oranges. I can't find it on my... Uh... Like you said, like the oranges that we do. Yeah. Do you have the picture here? Uh, 
I finished my painting, but I like to keep it for reference. Sure. Let me go through my pile of paintings. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay, so it's, yeah. yeah. Could we do next time um like some paintings from photos? We can. That's gonna be tough. But we okay. definitely like okay. absolutely like to me that's gonna be like more challenging. That's yeah. very challenging. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. it's very challenging. You have to hold them, but you understand that you understand there are still people that are so I don't know. I don't know. The last um, session, but it was very small. They don't have anything about anything Oh, uh, this is the next session. Um, yes. Yeah. It's uh, 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 okay. Thank you very much for being here. Oh, I'm so glad you were with us. And take care. They don't need you. You're going to repeat mistakes. Yep.